people can help. Nancy, I, I can't believe what you're telling me. Kleptomania. Uh, I've got to try and help her. It means so much. But what can you really do? I can offer a friendship, understanding. I won't really know until I get there. Let me go. I know you'll say yes. You're quite a girl, Nance. Is that a yes? That's yes. I sure hope you know what you're doing. So do I. Bye, Dad. Vacation's over, George. Come on. Hi. I'll wait for the bags. Welcome to the Diamond Hotel. Thank you. If you fill this in, we all set. Looks like there's been a little excitement around here. Yes, somebody lifted an expensive watch from the gift shop about an hour ago. Could you please tell me if a friend of mine has checked in yet? Karen Phillips. Yes, Miss Phillips checked in this morning. Can I phone her for you? Uh, no, that's all right. I'll talk to her later. Would you ask the bellman to bring my bags up to my room for me? I've got a few things I want to take care of first. Sure. Thank you. What's up? The crime rate. Somebody lifted a watch from the gift shop about an hour ago. Uh-oh. I turned around, she was gone, and so was the watch. Now, who else was in the shop at the time of the robbery, Mr. Crawford? Try to remember. Nobody. Are you sure? Positive. OK, what's our cover? Well, I checked in as Nancy Drew, sports writer, High Life magazine. No, I mean our cover. What do I get to be? We need an operative from the inside, someone who can move around the hotel without creating any suspicion. Hmm, a go-go dancer. No. A blackjack dealer. Perfect casting. You look great. I knew you'd get the job. Nancy. Now, trust me, don't worry about a thing. I've got it all worked out. You wanted to be a detective? Okay, now you've got your chance. Now, I want you to search Karen's room. See if you can find that watch. And search everything. Air, vans, medicine cabinets, because her father says she can find ingenious hiding places for the stuff. I have a question. Yeah? What happens in your ingenious, foolproof plan if I get caught? You'll think of something. That's what I thought you'd say. What's your first move? Karen. Oh. Huh, Sandro Castelli. Where's your concentration, Karen? Come on, you're hitting to my forehand. This isn't tennis you're playing. Paco. You're not hurting my game, honey. Whatever you say, Paco. Oh, whatever I say, whatever I say. Let's break for a while. I thought she was pretty good. Pretty good. She's great. Karen. Nancy? Nancy Drew, it is you. Listen, I'll see you in a minute, okay? Sure. Well, hi. I didn't even think you'd remember me. For a moment, I didn't. Gee, it must be five years. It's good to see you. You too. How are you? All right. Karen, we have to talk about that press conference at 2 o'clock. Jim, let me introduce you to an old friend, Nancy Drew. Well, I wish my old school friends looked like you. How are you? I'm Jim Roper. <laughs> nice to meet you. Jim handles all the press here. He knows every sports writer in the country. Yeah, keeping up with them is tough enough, but I also have to throw out the party crashers. You get a lot of those? <laughs> Are you kidding? I've had tournaments where people actually posed as sports writers. Can you believe that? Hard to. 
People can be deceptive, can't they? Yeah. What are you doing here, Nancy? <sighs> I'm here as Sandra Castelli's date. He invited me to the championship. Nancy, this is the first tournament that Castelli and I have ever played in together. He's the only major player I've never met. Would you introduce me? Well, Karen, to be honest, it's a little embarrassing because Castelli, Sandra and I got into an argument this morning and he hates being disturbed during practice. Like he's ready to make up with you. Oh, looks can be deceiving. It's a little touchy. Why don't you just wait here a minute, okay? Nancy, wait a minute. This could be just the break I need. I've been trying to talk Castelli into doing a television show this afternoon, and so far he doesn't want to do it. You know how temperamental he is. Yeah, I know. Well, I thought maybe if you if you talked with him, you know, put a little feminine romantic pressure to work. Sure, I'll talk to him. Great. Hi there. Hi yourself. I'm Sandor Castelli. <laughs> we haven't actually met, but... <laughs> no, but are you trying to make up for lost time or what? Uh, actually, I'm the liaison between the hotel and the players. Oh. And they have a very important interview they'd like you to do today. Well, I... I told them I don't do those kind of shows, but if you'd like to uh, discuss it later, maybe... We could go to dinner. Look, I'm not some sort of tennis groupie hanging around to try and bask in your glory. Now, if I can't ask you a simple favor, what kind of a relationship do we have? I just thought that, you know, maybe we could... And do that interview today. The tournament needs you. My career as a sports writer ended very abruptly. My cover now is that I'm Sandra Castelli's date. Ooh, are you kidding? How did you arrange that? I didn't arrange it. That's the problem. You look like you've got everything under control. I didn't think you'd find Where'd you find that? On the dresser. On the dresser? That's the psychology behind kleptomaniacs, Nancy. They want to get caught. A client's a thief. There's no question about it. I have a thief for a client. What do we do with that now? I'll have to return it. How do you return stolen merchandise? Well, I'll just tell them I got it from a maid. They'll ask which maid. Nancy, what if they zero in on this and find I'm the only new maid in the hotel? I could go to jail. Oh, it'll only be for a little while. Nancy! No, never mind. I'll think of something else. See you later. <laughs> 